What's up guys, welcome to Products Room. Choosing the best rice cooker can be confusing, especially with so many options available in the market. Luckily, to help you find the right one for your needs, we've done the homework for you, and we have compiled a list of some of the best rice cookers you can buy right now. So be sure to stay till the end, so you don't miss anything. Before we start our list, I have a question for you. Have you ever used a rice cooker before, or are you using it right now? If so, let us know in the comments which rice cooker you have, and what is your opinion on it. Now, let's get started. The first rice cooker on our list is Cuckoo Rice Cooker. In general, rice cookers make the process of cooking rice very easy. This one even has a computerized voice that talks you through everything, reminding you to lock the pressure cooking lid and alerting you as your rice gets closer to finished. It's a fun and luxurious feature, and it's just one of several that make the Cuckoo worth its price tag. This is an enormous machine, with a capacity of 10 cups of dry rice, that's 20 cups of cooked rice. But as a pressure cooker, the cuckoo cuts down on cooking time for larger amounts. It made a full batch of white rice in about 25 minutes, and there's a special turbo mode that cuts that time by almost half. The Nurangji mode creates a layer of crispy brown rice on the bottom of the bowl beneath a layer of perfectly cooked rice, and the multi-cook setting is meant to steam rice, and an entree at the same time. We especially enjoyed trying out the Gaba rice mode, which soaks brown rice in just warm water for hours to start the germination process and release the amino acid, then cooks it to perfection. Meant for big families who make rice multiple times per week, the cuckoo is truly full-featured and can make lots of different dishes. It's heavy and takes up a lot of space, but it's also a workhorse that's designed to stay on the counter and can hold up to long-term daily use. It's on the pricey side, but we think it offers the best balance of cost and features. The next rice cooker on our list is Aroma Housewares Digital Rice and Grain Multicooker. Considering how expensive high-end rice cookers can get, this one is shockingly affordable for its performance and features. The controls are basic, but they include separate modes for white rice, brown rice, and steaming, as well as a simple display that counts down the cook time remaining. We found excellent results testing the machine with sushi, jasmine, and brown rice, especially the latter, which came out fluffy and not sticky at all. It automatically switches over to keep warm mode when it's done cooking, so you don't have to worry about being right there in the kitchen as the timer ends. The aroma holds 8 cups of cooked rice or 4 cups pre-cooking, which is on the smaller side for rice cookers but still enough to feed a medium-sized family. That also helps reduce its countertop footprint. The steamer basket and other accessories all stow away and are on the machine, which has a compact carrying handle that makes it easier to move around or tuck away in a cabinet. Cleaning is also easy, as the pot has a heavy-duty non-stick coating that didn't give us any trouble washing by hand during testing. The pot, steamer tray, and all accessories are dishwasher safe, though the manual itself confusingly recommends hand washing only. The only difficulty we have is getting a sponge into the small condensation collector area to wipe it down. The next rice cooker on our list is Zajirashi Induction Heating System Rice Cooker and Warmer. Every rice cooker that made this list does at least a pretty good job of cooking rice. It's more the size, design features, and extras that set one apart from another. This model, on the higher end of the range for Zajirashi, which is a luxury brand in general, offers ultimate rice cooking customization. It uses induction heating for precise temperature control, and it has 11 different cooking options. Just for white rice alone, you can choose from standard, softer, and harder doneness, as well as special settings for jasmine and sushi rice, and a quick cook function. If you want hot rice at the ready at all times, this is the perfect machine for you. It has a pre-cooking timer you can set so a batch is done exactly when you want it, as well as a post-cooking keep warm mode that can run for a full 24 hours. In our tests with both sushi and basmati rice, we got fluffy grains that didn't stick to each other or to the pot, thanks to a non-stick pot and lid that keep everything contained and are both removable for easy washing by hand. Cleanup is also very easy. Now for the downsides. The main one is its huge price. This is a machine only worth the investment if you're going to make rice almost every day, and especially if you like to make all different types of rice for different dishes. Like other Zajirashi machines, it's also fairly slow. The gentle cooking helps with rice texture, but our test batches of white rice took 45 and 55 minutes to cook, and brown rice took 90 minutes. Our brown rice also turned out mushy and soupy, though we suspect it may have been a measurement error as other Zajirashi models had no trouble with brown rice. The next rice cooker on our list is Aroma Housewares 6 Cup Rice and Grain Cooker. The 6 Cup Aroma model is an excellent all in one machine for a single person. Its steamer insert is designed to cook a main course and the rice underneath at the same time, so you can make a multi course dinner. Rice, salmon, and asparagus for one, say. This machine can do that. 
Just note that it can only do that one serving at a time. The options here are pretty minimal. There's one cook setting controlled by an analog switch, with a simple glass lid that doesn't lock into place. Nothing can go in the dishwasher. The inner steamer does have its own cool touch handles, which is a nice feature. In testing, the aroma did decently, though there was some variability from batch to batch. Jasmine rice came out perfect once and overdone a second time. The small capacity means that small variances in the exact amount of rice and water make a big difference. Measure carefully. The machine automatically turns to keep warm mode when it's done cooking. Though the rice started to harden and stick to the pot after a short time, so we wouldn't recommend letting keep warm run for too long. Oh, and did we mention this thing costs 20 bucks? If you're not looking for a large rice cooker or one with a lot of bells and whistles, this model's a steal. The next rice cooker on our list is Zajireshi Mikum Rice Cooker and Warmer. From the self-regulating time and temperature to the jaunty little tunes that play when cooking starts and finishes, almost everything about this rice cooker is friendly. Don't worry, you can change the songs to simple beeps if you prefer. It has separate modes for white, brown, and sticky rice, plus a general steaming setting and steamer insert. This thing can even bake kick. It uses the non-stick rice pot as a baking dish. Our testing resulted in beautifully cooked batches of white, brown, and basmati rice, all of which were better than we can manage on the stovetop. They also maintain their texture and temperature beautifully on keep warm mode. Even after 4 hours, there was a cloud of warm steam upon opening the lid, and the rice didn't stick at all. Zajireshi machines cook gently for excellent rice texture, but the downside is that they cook slowly. This model needs an hour for white rice and 110 minutes, nearly 2 hours for brown. There's a quick mode that works with only a minimal decrease in quality, but it still takes 40 minutes. However, the timer helps. You can set rice to finish cooking at whatever time of day you want, up to 24 hours ahead. In tests, it's nailed the time, starting to heat up at the perfect moment to finish cooking at the exact moment it's scheduled to. This Zajireshi model is certainly on the more expensive side, but it's also huge, able to cook 10 cups at once and keep it hot and fresh for up to 12 hours. If you eat rice every day, or anywhere close to every day, it's worth the splurge. The next rice cooker on our list is Presto 6 Quart Stainless Steel Pressure Cooker. While our testing included only electric countertop rice cookers, you can of course make delicious rice on the stove extra quickly by using a pressure cooker. This is our top recommended stovetop pressure cooker, with a safety release valve and automatic pressure regulator that simplify the sometimes intimidating setup process. It's more complicated to use for rice than an automated rice cooker, but you can also use the Presto to speed cook everything from pulled pork to risotto. You can also just leave the pot unpressurized and use it like any standard saucepan. This model has a 6-quart capacity and is made from rust-proof, non-reactive stainless steel. It can be used on any type of stove, including induction, and it has a long heat-proof handle as well as a knobby helper handle on the other side to make it easy to move even when full. The pot and lid are dishwasher safe for easy cleaning, though you have to remove the sealing ring and pressure regulator first. The next rice cooker on our list is Systema 2.6 liters microwave rice cooker. For devotees of microwave cooking, this device can steam up 11 cups of rice, more than enough for the whole family, in 10 minutes or so. We didn't test the system with the electric cookers, but it's our pick if you're looking for a way to produce perfect rice in your microwave. The cooker is made from BPA-free plastic, with locking clips to hold the lid in place during cooking and steam vents to release steam without any spatters. It works just as well with polenta, couscous, or other grains as it does with rice, and can also steam veggies. We do wish it came with a storage lid so you could store leftovers right in the cooker. Alright guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, and this video helped you out. Don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time, see you later.